Welcome back. Something exciting here. The Oklahoma Children's Hospital, OU Health, is launching a brand new toy cart built and designed by local artists. The whole process has been captured by a local film crew as well. And starting next week, you can see that film at the Yale Theater on Southwest 25th. Joining us to talk more about this is volunteer Sarah Jacobson and filmmaker Brandon Cobes. Thanks for joining us. Thank Thanks you. We appreciate us. it. First off, let's just explain what the toy cart is, Sarah. Sure. The toy cart has been around at Children's Hospital for almost 50 years. Mm -hmm. And um, volunteers take it room to room to help each new patient that is admitted grab a toy, feel a little bit more comfortable in the hospital, and really have a moment to, to play and to feel like a kid and not be in a space that can be a little bit scary, a little bit overwhelming. Yeah. Well, when they come to the hospital, I mean, normally some of these kids are dealing with, you know, things they never should be dealing with. What happens in their mind and eyes when they just get something as simple as a toy? What does it do of understanding that process that's happening? Yeah, I think it really it reminds them that they're there to be a kid. They're not there to deal with the medicine or the stress or the anxieties. They can play, they can be themselves, they can be comfortable. And I think for families, it helps them to realize this is a space that is going to care for this child. Not treat them like a kid, like, a, like an adult or a patient, um, but really make sure that they have um, things that are familiar with them that help them feel comfortable in the environment. I love that. Brandon, why did you want to capture this in film? Yeah, um, this was an amazing project to work on. and couldn't have had better partners in the volunteers organization. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we've been friends with Sarah for a long time and so we're naturally storytellers and so what better story to tell in Oklahoma City than, um, you know, art healing people. Yes. And so uh, this was a super fun project, um, difficult, but uh, the first thing we did was push the toy cart. Mm -hmm. And so mm. getting to go through that experience is something that I wish for everybody really because yeah. it's more rewarding to you than it is to the people you're giving toys to. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we interviewed over 20 people and uh, made the movie and we're really proud of it. What's your takeaway on a personal experience mm -hmm. of this? Oh, it's just incredible. Um, it's, it's almost kind of hard to be around the volunteers because they're like the best people Ever. in the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, it's it, humbling, it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's very humbling. And uh, these, these folks give so much of their time and so much of their energy to help other people. So mm -hmm. uh, it was awesome. And we just want to show that off. I and, know. Um, it, so, yeah. How many hours did you film? Uh, so we interviewed over 20 people. We worked on it for three months. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how many hours we filmed this. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and the editing of it is kind of the big project. When can people come see this film? Who do you want to come? So we premiere the film on Tuesday. We're holding an event. Uh, we're asking donations um, of any kind for admission, whether that be a toy or monetarily. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, we're going to have the film online for people to view and direct people to that. I love that. Sarah, mm -hmm. how many toys do you guys go through each year? Quite a bit. Yeah. So um, typically in a month we uh, deliver between 600 and 700 toys. So wow. last year we did more than 7,500. Um, 7, but overall in our programs beyond the toy cart we used about 75,000 toys. Wow. So they're wow. all over the place at the hospital because we have a ton of kids and they always are there to celebrate events birthdays, holidays. On Tuesday alone, we had an event um, for Christmas in July, mm -hmm. and we gave away about a 700 toys. Wow. So, wow. It, well, it's a big commentary about how great the need is, mm -hmm. and that's why folks can help. We've got some information on our screen of ways that you can donate. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do so through Bob Moore Cadillac of Edmond, July 31st through August the 10th. Uh, you can go to Sauced on Paseo and the uh, Lively Beer Works. You can donate there as well as come and support the film. Can't mm -hmm. wait to see more about it. What type of toys are on the list? Is it stuffed animals? Is it all of the above? Is it anything? It's, it's all of the above. We yeah. serve kids of all ages, but I would say our top lists are baby toys, rattles, teethers, toys that light up and make mo noise, and then teen gifts because teens get really bored. They're mm -hmm. there for a long time. Yeah. So journals, um, activity kits, things that they can make and do and be active instead of just sitting there. Mm -hmm. um, board books are important. And then playing cards and Uno, that's like the number one game. And you can that. engage the entire family with those yeah. types of things. What does it do for parents? Because I think, you know, when you see your child hurt, you would love to take that on. And just to have mm -hmm. that little spot of joy, what did you see through the camera, Brandon? Yeah, uh, I and mean, you know, that was like one of the best parts about our, our toy push was we we would give a toy to a kid and there was a there was a mom that came out in the hallway and like tracked us down and um, you know that meant so much to her um, because they had been there for who knows how long and just sitting in a hospital room and 
it's not fun and it's boring mm -hmm. and uh, you run out of things too. So mm -hmm. something as simple as some Uno cards or, or a, you know, be a monster big blessing. truck or something yes. like that, like, is a huge deal. So mm -hmm. yeah, it was it was rewarding for sure. Love this program, Sarah. Thanks mm -hmm. for sharing it with us, and thanks mm -hmm. for sharing it behind the the lens as yeah. well, Brandon. We appreciate you guys. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Best of luck on your premiere for thanks. your uh, film as well. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay.